revolutionary new procedure in the medical field that helps patients deal with pain. We're going to meet the doctor that helped to found this new medical advance. His name is Dr. Richardson, and he's right here at Hotel Dew Hospital in New Orleans. I'll have that coming up in a minute, but first here's Eric to tell you what else is coming up on tonight's PM Magazine. Thanks a lot, Liam. A Toys by Roy in Lake Forest Plaza tonight. Because in our second story, we're going to take a look at some toys that are, are great for kids and adults. Zippy mini cars that look like the real thing. Also tonight, Kathy Mann discovers how movie makers feed casts of thousands. And we'll have a good idea for dealing with stress and everyday hassles. All that and more coming up on tonight's PM Magazine. is something that we all deal with at one time or another in our lives, but when pain becomes so bad that it impedes your lifestyle, that you can't eat, sleep, or work without suffering from that pain, then you have to do something for it a little more than just take an aspirin like you would for a headache. Well, tonight we are going to meet a doctor right here at Hotel Dew in New Orleans, Dr. Donald Richardson, who has helped to invent something that helps chronic sufferers of pain. It is called a deep brain stimulator. Through an operation, something is put into your brain, you work a transmitter outside of your body when you feel that pain, and the stimulus in your brain stops the pain. Well, tonight we're going to find out all about his invention and meet a person who has completely changed his life thanks to the deep brain stimulator. Pain, it's an inevitable part of everyday life. No matter what age, gender, or occupation, there's not a single one among us who doesn't confront some form of pain at one time or another. But John Madonna's pain was different than that which can be relieved with an ice bag or a Band-Aid. John was one of millions in the United States who suffer with chronic pain. That is, pain which even with extremely high doses of medication doesn't go away for months or even years. As a result of a back injury coupled with a deteriorating disc disease, John says that for nine years he was in so much pain that he practically lived the life of a vegetable. It got to the point where uh, I didn't even know I was alive. I fought with the wife. I was mad at the children all the time. I was on the couch. If I wasn't on the couch, I was in the bed, back in the bedroom. I, the, the biggest thing of the day was going from the couch to the bathroom maybe a couple of times a day. At times I thought about killing myself, I really did. But it didn't, the, I don't know, I guess the fear of dying, my, my will for living was stronger, so I went on. In efforts to relieve his suffering, John underwent almost a dozen operations and took enough daily medication to kill the average person. In fact, John claims when a hot water pipe in his bathroom once exploded in his face, he was so numb from the drugs that he felt nothing. That accident cost John the use of his right eye. I was taking as many as 20 Percodan a day, along with 10 or 15 Dilarda, maybe a couple of injections of Demerol or morphine. And I was mixing drugs. I was taking sleeping pills to go to sleep at night, two, three, and four at a time. I was taking pet pills in the morning to wake up. I was constantly, every hour, I was taking something. Just when he was reaching the point of desperation, John heard about the pain unit at Hotel Dew Hospital in New Orleans and about the neurosurgeon who heads it, Dr. Donald Richardson. Dr. Richardson has received world notoriety for his development of the deep brain stimulator, a revolutionary surgery which has been successful in 80% of patients with chronic pain. It was an operation that would change John's life. How the deep brain stimulator works is very simple. First, an electrode is implanted in the patient's brain. It is then connected through wires to a receiver which is implanted in the chest. After surgery, the patient is able to kill his own pain by sending off small electrical impulses to his brain through a pocket-sized transmitter, like the one John is using here. These electrical charges stimulate the brain to secrete a substance called endorphins, which acts as the body's own morphine. Of all the patients who enter the Hotel Du Pain unit, John is one of only 30% who has undergone surgery for the deep brain stimulator. According to Dr. Richardson, most pain is caused by stress or other emotional factors which surgery cannot cure. So before surgery is even considered, each patient is taught to understand the cause of his pain. Meanwhile, Dr. Richardson and a team of experts, including a psychiatrist, physical therapist, 
and a group therapist examine each case to determine if the cause of pain is emotional or physical. When all factors have been ruled out and the cause is found to be strictly physical, surgery then is prescribed as a last resort, as it was in John's case. The person's very well motivated to get rid of their suffering and they can do that, but if they're very dependent and want to keep their suffering going, we can't get rid of all that. It's going to continue no matter what we do. And that's why 70% of our patients can get rid of their pain without having an operation, is that they, once they deal with all the suffering problems they have, the underlying pain isn't really bad enough to warrant something. They'll tell you that. They say, I really don't need anything else done. Have any pain now? My back, most of my spine, cord, my tailbone. For most of us, it's nightmarish to even think of brain surgery being performed under local anesthesia. But in this case, Dr. Richardson says the patient must be awake so as to help him find the area of the brain to be stimulated. For this, the patient is put in an uncomfortable position so that he feels pain. The electrode is then inserted and moved around until the pain disappears. When this happens, Richardson knows where to permanently implant the electrode. John explained what it was like when he received his deep brain stimulator in an operation similar to this one. You can feel the drilling into your skull like a dentist drill. You feel it on the tooth, you hear it, but there's no pain involved. Then he slips the electrode into your brain. You feel no pain at all because the brain doesn't feel pain. And it's kind of like a, a tingling sensation, like if your foot ever went to sleep and, it's, and it doesn't hurt and you can feel it, but it's kind of numb. That's, that's the sensation you have from where you hurt all the way down. Three years after his operation, John says he is a new man. Whereas before he could not even walk next door without the aid of his wife, today he fishes and camps out with his children, he built a chicken coop in his backyard, and he raises all of his own vegetables. His problems are not entirely over. He still owes about $100,000 in medical bills from all of the treatments he received during that most difficult period in his life. Also, he says his pain is not entirely gone, but through daily use of his stimulator, it has become bearable. All in all, John says he has found a reason for living. My life is totally different. I live every day. I enjoy life. I enjoy my children, my wife. We have a new baby, eight months old, which was impossible. We, we never even thought about having any more kids, and I was told that I probably couldn't have any more children. So my life has totally turned around since the surgery. Only one year after John received his surgery, he caught a 43-pound redfish off the coast of Grand Isle. Now, it is said that is one of the largest redfish ever to be caught off the Grand Isle surf. Not bad, considering just a year earlier, he couldn't even crawl out of bed. Stay tuned. We've got more coming up right after this.